Hello, today we have visitors from Denmark and uh, Mikael Humle is the CEO of the Danish company Photocat. Welcome, Mikael. Thank you, Henrik. Thank you, Henrik. Uh, can you just uh, start off by briefly explaining uh, Photocat's business? I can try at least. Uh, Photocat is in the business of NOx removal. NOx is a, a toxic gas that we have too much of in most major cities around the world. And uh, this gas comes from exhaust, from cars, from uh, anything that you basically combust or energy consume. NOx is one of the world's largest killers and we have spent a lot of time developing a solution that helps particularly the cities around the world to reduce this problem and hopefully save a lot of lives. That's what we do. Okay. And where are you now in the process of uh, commercializing your products? We uh, are in the process that uh, I would say much more than started. Now we have validated the business case. We started off originally with the, with the first series for indoor air quality. And then we launched the brand Noxoff, which is now available in Denmark and Germany. In Denmark, in the concrete business, with the two largest concrete manufacturers in Denmark, having rolled out the, the product and together with us, so we are on the side learning how to ramp up and create a, a core launch package that we then can provide as part of our offering to customers that as, as, far as we grow uh, internationally. On the uh, bitumen side, we also have launched Noxoff now in Germany, and um, uh, and two major German manufacturers of bitumen has rolled out the products this autumn. Uh, we already secured substantial product project list. Uh, this is not just to create references; this is again to create a core launch package so that we know how to build the market together with our manufacturers, our customers. Mm. Because our customers don't have a direct market to offer this solution into. We are creating the market. Uh, in a sense, we are true innovators. So, so we are working into a market that doesn't really exist. Uh, for, for the, of course, lots of solutions exist for reducing NOx, but our approach is unique. Mm -hmm. And uh, Photocat was listed on uh, Nasdaq First North in uh, November last year, so it's been almost one year. Uh, have you been able to execute according to your business plan so far? If you uh, look at uh, what we said, we said we were going to roll out Knox off. Uh, we didn't at that time really have more than leads. Mm. We now have uh, customers that we can put a budget on. We have an order book uh, on this also for, for the coming years. So I think you could say, yes, we delivered on Knox Off. Uh, we had the indoor. That customer is, is, is still on, on the core of it and, and we see the growth in it. And then on top of that, we launched Photocat Garden in Denmark, which is an aftermarket product. And uh, we have now taken that to four new countries in Norway, Sweden, Germany and Spain. So I think you would say, yes, we have certainly commercialized uh, mm. uh, and, and, and built a sales organization uh, that we told the market we were going to spend the money we, mm. we took in on. So I think we have delivered. Mm. It's always a question of being satisfied. I personally feel that a little bit like the weather. Uh, sometimes it's the sun shines, but it also rains uh, uh, occasionally. And uh, of course, you, I, I get impatient a lot of the time and want things to be faster, but I cannot control our customers. Mm. And, and, and now I have a budgetable case on some customers. Last year, I was unable to do anything by, but my best guess, mm. when am I going to land this customer? And you never really know. Uh, uh, with with an exact date and say they're going to sign the 25th. No. Uh, so I think we have delivered on, on that. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
you you mentioned uh, several uh, market segments here. Now, which one of these uh, segments uh, offer the best potential for you in the near near term? Would you say? If you look at the the bitumen market, which is uh, r roofing paper, roofing membranes for for city houses, uh, flat roofed buildings, you f you find them a lot in industry, but you also find them in in high houses or high stack houses, things like that. And uh, here we have a concentrated market. There are maybe 20, 30 major uh, manufacturers in, in Europe uh, and the same in, in North America. We can reach them. We have the best offering by far in the market in our own perception. And, um, and uh, we can see that there is a growing demand. I believe this segment will really grow uh the uh, issue is that that it's uh, not common to think when you're buying a roof where you're supposed to keep your keep your house dry that it also acts as a nox remover uh, that thinking is new uh, so so from that sense we need to build in this into the market and we're in that process and I think we're doing it good concrete solutions already exist uh, and um, and there is market in Germany, in uh, also in Sweden. You have companies that have launched uh, technology using our competitors' uh, approach. We have a higher efficacy, uh, competitive uh, business packets, and uh, and I see growth in this. But the dynamics in the concrete market is slower, um, and uh, and it's less competitive. So, uh, so they have a, a less desire and need for innovation, really. Uh, Photocat Garden is growing tremendously. People really like the idea of uh, becoming Nox neutral. It's a little bit like ecological wave. And at the same time, their garden stones will self-preserve them and look nicer. They, they, they certainly buy that concept, uh, both in the do-it-yourself market and and the professional markets, which means that private people buy a contractor to clean their garden stones and and preserve them. Uh, and there our offering really has penetrated well. Mm. So um, so I think Photocat Garden will grow, mm. Knox Off will grow as the biggest uh, growth drivers. Both of them will grow with, in my perception, with more than 100%. Of course, 100% is easy if you come from a small uh, mm small level uh, but 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 still significant growth uh, and uh, active flow will grow i don't say see that much growth in shine on which is a self cleaning glass business mm -hmm. it's a complicated business so so i see the growth coming from Knox off and from photocat garden primarily okay. Um, what about the financial situation? Uh, even if everything goes to plan, it looks like you will need additional funding before reaching break-even. Do you agree? And uh, what is your plan? Um, I'm not sure I agree entirely. Because this again is a, a matter of how aggressive do we want to be. Um, mm. and, uh, and of course, we are at every quarter, every uh, budget meeting reviewing and and revisiting this position should we really grow organically or should we uh, should we try to 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 take in the uh, additional funds and um, and I don't think we desperately need them uh, if you say that uh, and I think we still can grow but of course we would grow a lot stronger with a a, a bigger capital base so that I guess is, is 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 the big issue, meaning I don't have to go out and ask the market for money. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep. Okay. And uh, now, are there any other uh, specific concerns, business-wise, that is, uh, that may keep you awake at night? Certainly, growing an organization, bringing in lots of new people, uh, that's a concern. Mm. It's not that easy, you know. People are not like uh, robots. Uh, mm. You just don't pluck them on a shelf and then they start playing like a, a robot the, 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 the day after. Mm. And, and getting our culture to, to be able to do that, that keeps me up at night. Mm. Uh, 
getting the management skills to be addressing uh, this issue uh, where we come from a, a culture where show me what you can do kind of culture and uh, and now we have to do it as a team that certainly keeps me uh, mm. up at night yeah. uh, otherwise I don't really I, I feel comfortable that 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 the ball, the ball is rolling the okay. right direction yeah. on, on the other issues, I have to say. And what are the top priorities for the next year, let's say? Top priorities is that I need to make sure that our public affairs model really deliver and work. Uh, by that I mean, can we go out on markets on city level together with a customer and get the public to help us demand the product. Mm. Not with law, but certainly with public tenders, certainly with, uh, with uh, guidance and, uh, and uh, directives that, that this is desired to do so. Mm. Air quality plans for cities, things like that. Um, and um, and, and uh, second priority is scaling up our business that, um, that we can make sure that we are able to continuously deliver uh, already this year I mean we came from a research background which means that we did one gram of, of product and one small bottle and we showed it and still in our presentation you see these small bottles now you have trucks coming in taking off tons of material and we have been able to deliver on time every and I want to be able to continue to do that yeah. And uh, that is uh, not a challenge, but it's certainly a timing issue because, of course, these things also require planning long term. Uh, you cannot scale up in two weeks. And if a customer comes tomorrow, one of the very big ones, I'm not sure I can keep that delivery schedule that strict that we have. Mm. Uh, so so, so that's, uh, that's a priority. And the, the, the third one is uh, getting sales leads to execute faster, more precisely. Mm. Uh, those are the three priorities, in, in my opinion. I see. Well, uh, excellent. Thank you for coming, and uh, good luck on your top priorities. Thank you, Henry.